Welcome back to Geek It Plays Poser Tutorials for Beginners. In this tutorial we're going to look at something real cool called the Face Room. This is our user interface. We're going to actually move things around a little bit. Again, we click on the title bar and drag to move the different user interface elements around. So let's just move things around a little bit with the light controls and the camera controls. And we're going to go up to our face room. And open it up. And this is the face room. This, These are some of the controls. The great thing about the face room is, is you can take photos and apply them as textures to your figure. So we're going to come over here to the photo lineup area and load a front photo that we've already set up to use as a texture. So let's go ahead and select our front face and we'll click open. And here Poser is asking us to choose a landmark for the face so that it can attempt to try to line up the texture correctly on the topology. So we'll go ahead and click where it's asking us to. And look, it's uh, already so let's take a couple more looks at it. Looking pretty good. Looks like we need to adjust the eyes a little bit. And maybe on the side of the head as well. Remove some of the darkness there. So we'll come over to our lineup area and we'll just start clicking on these different control points and dragging them into position. And You can see in the face sculpting area that it is changing the lineup as we modify these control points. And we just basically want to get the eye shape correct. And you can also change the shape of the profile of the face. You can see how it modifies the lineup of the whole face. Let's look at it a little bit further on this side. It's looking pretty good. Let's uh we can actually load a side picture and so we're going to load that up and again we're going to do the landmarks and we're going to flip the fit picture so that we can line up the landmarks properly and you can see it's kind of has issues we're going to need to adjust it using these tools this is the movement uh, lineup and this is the scale part of the lineup tools. So we'll scale it a little back. Just a little bit further. And then we'll need to move it forward a little bit. And scale it a little bit more. And basically you just want to line up your control points to your different landmarks of the face. But you can see already, it's already a pretty decent texture despite, you know, little bits here and there that need to be lined up. Maybe we'll line up the ear a little bit better. You can see that the ear's kind of a little funky. Maybe we'll need to line up the eye a little better so we'll move the whole thing into place. Uh, and now the eye is lined up actually pretty, pretty well. And the more we fiddle with this and modify these control points and align them to our features, different landmarks of our face, the better it's going to look. But even so, you can still see that it actually is looking pretty well. And Maybe we'll move it a little bit. You can see that the ear isn't quite lining up. But despite all these things, I mean, for as much time as we've spent on this texture, it's really looking pretty good. And this texture can actually be exported. And we can also change the shape of the face in addition to adding the texture. Maybe we want the brows a little higher or lower. Or perhaps we want to change the shape of the eyes, move the eyes up or down, uh, or tilt them inward or outward. We are happy with our face shape the way it is. So let's take another look at it. 
it's looking really really pretty impressive for as much time as we spent on it probably a couple minutes at most so we'll go ahead and apply to figure and this is just a warning message saying the action is an undoable go ahead and click OK and it's creating the maps it needs and yes we are going to match the face color to the figure color and that way the face will be the same hue as the rest of the body so that you don't have this weird pale face on your olive skinned figure so we'll get in here in the pose room and check it out uh, it's looking really good especially now that the uh, face color is matched the body color take a look at it from different angles so you can see that uh, the face room is a really powerful tool f that Poser has it allows us to create photo textures for our face very quickly and very easily and we've only spent just a couple minutes working on this texture imagine if you were to spend you know like 30 minutes or something and really get those profiles in line and those control points lined up you'd really have an impressive texture thank you for watching this video tutorial from geek at play thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studios please visit us at posertutorials.net i'm jared buchanan I'm Geek at Large, Jared Buchanan. Thank you.